Okay, so it's time to dive into Python. If you've been thinking about learning the language, I highly, highly suggest that you learn it. Big things for me for Python, or it runs on anything, Windows, Linux, Mac, hardware like Arduino and you know Raspberry Pi and all that kind of stuff. Python's freaking awesome. It runs on anything, right? Lots and lots and lots and lots of modules, right? So you don't have to write so much custom code. If you want to parse PDF files or PE files, or you want to connect to network sockets, or you want to read Office documents, or you want to talk to all these different databases, or you want to integrate with all these, you know, uh, scientific libraries or mathematic libraries or anything like that. There's just so much support. You really don't need to write a lot of custom code. I love that about Python. Next thing is what I think is the biggest benefit of Python is how few lines of code that are actually needed to do something. So if you want to do something within a relatively small amount of lines of code, you can get started working. Python allows you to focus on what you want to do instead of focusing on syntax. So you get a lot of people who call it an ugly language, or they call it spaghetti code. And the reason that people call it spaghetti code because closest thing to programming at the speed of thought. So what that means is you just sit down and you can get started. So after you learn the structure of Python, ints, strings, for loops, that kind of stuff, once you learn the structure of it, really what you just need to do is focus on what you want to do. Log parsing, you know, writing network security testing tools, web app testing tools, malware analysis, reverse engineering. Focus on what you want to do with Python, and I think you're going to find that this is an amazing language. If I can help you learn about who we are, and hopefully, if you're willing to join us. This is InfoSec Addicts.